Alright guys, uh, today I decided to make a video on a Dell laptop. Um, with this laptop, um, I've been working on it for maybe roughly maybe one or two days now. But um, I could just never get the Wi-Fi to install correctly. Uh, well, excuse me, um, the Wi-Fi drivers. Um, so that means without the Wi-Fi drivers, you won't be able to have uh, the Wi-Fi icon show up. Um, as you can see, now I finally have it popped up um, after trying a, a lot of a lot of drivers. Um, but uh, it turns out one thing I didn't look look closely at was um was the operating system. So the reason why it wasn't installing was because after checking my um my computer or checking the I, the OS the operating system on my computer um it never occurred to me to check my um what what bit I'm running on to check on to check on that you can just go to um control panel look for uh system and security and where it says system uh during this whole ordeal I just never really looked at the operating system um as you can see now I'm running 64-bit. Um, before I was operating on 32, so that was one big reason why it wasn't able to install. Um, since this is a Dell operating or Dell laptop, Dell doesn't make any Wi-Fi drivers for 32-bit. So that's the, so that was one big problem or, or big mistake I had. Since since all the drivers were in 64-bit, that's why it wasn't working or installing. So one way I was to actually finally get get it installed was to uh, format my hard drive. I mean that's what that's what happened was uh, I decided to uh, wipe my hard drive and format it and start fresh again because um the pc was acting up um i was just having it ran randomly shut down so i decided to uh, uh reinstall my operating system restart windows um but when i did that uh, like i said you know i just thought okay connect to the wi-fi because i was using one of these um at first because you know when you start you have no drives installed you can't even use this you gotta have you have to have a uh, drivers on uh, already on one of these when, when you um, uh, re um, reinstall Windows. But uh, yeah, like I said, I was trying, um, but it just was never able to install. So, um, like I said, I I reinstalled Windows, but this time instead of 32-bit, I did 64-bit. And as soon as I installed it, or after it was done optimizing and everything, I tried the Wi-Fi driver, and boom! Like five minutes later, after you know everything was done loading, um, I was then able to use Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi icon finally came up. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, so that was one big mistake that I had was using 34 bit or 32, excuse me, 32 bit without even noticing. Like I said, I tried different drivers. I, I mean, I tried a lot, but it just never could get the Wi-Fi to actually install. Um, but yeah, like I said, so that's one thing you gotta check for is this, the bit you're running on. Um, then once you, once you have that installed, if, if you don't have the dr um, driver, um, I'll try to leave it in the link in the description for uh, the Wi-Fi driver, but um, this is an Inspirion N7110. Um, but anywho, I mean, it doesn't have to be that specific model, but it's just any Dell laptop. But um, if uh, if you have any more problems, like later on, if, if there's other drivers that don't come up, like for example, I'm gonna check now um, device manager.
as you can see there's other drivers that are still missing but i'll get i'll install those later on but uh it, w it would say network controller i mean still missing but uh, after you install Wi-Fi, if you still have those problems, um, if these drivers aren't still installing, just simply go to update. Let's type in update. update Dell drivers uh, and depending on wh what country you're in um, you can be across seas but I'm in the US um, I mean your your internet should already pick that up since I'm in the US you're gonna choose this one Once you, once you go here, if you know your uh, service tag, type it in if you already know it. If you don't, no big deal. It's, uh, it's not even a big problem. You can detect the product. And uh, like, so you can you can wait. It'll, it'll take a couple minutes. It's going to let you um, actually, there's the service agreement that you have to agree to. Once you agree to that, um, then uh, it will download an app. You would have to have that app uh, installed and it would automatically detect it. Once you have that detected, um, it should automatically um, de um, detect what drivers you need and it will and it'll take care of uh, these, um, these other two drivers that I need. I mean, that's, that's no big problem. My biggest issue was the Wi-Fi. But um, like I said, I'll leave that Wi-Fi driver. Wi-Fi driver in um, the description but like I said you know just download and install as you can see the application comes down what you can do is open and install then from there it sh it's gonna detect your operating system but um, in case it doesn't or if something comes up you can you can also just go to support and where it says drivers and download So like I said, if, if if this is giving you a hassle, and if something's not going or if, if something's not installing, just go to view other products or view products and laptop and choose your um, model. As like I said earlier, I have a Inspirium, and then from here, like I said, um, like I mentioned earlier, it's like. It, it doesn't have to be my exact same model. I mean, if you're having the same problem with your model, just um, look for it. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm looking for an N7110. I may have just missed it. I think I'm looking too hard because I see the ends right there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to look at two screens at once. I could have swore, yeah, it was like more at the bottom. Um, like I said, this is my model. I'm just gonna show you a quick look of how to uh, get to your drivers if you if you need more drivers, because uh, like from device manager, uh, it says it, it was unable to locate or download. Um, like I said, if if you had already registered earlier, like I said, you know, once you have everything installed, you can just detect it automatically. It would um automatically download the drivers that you need that you specifically need for your model but if, like I said if, if something happens and if that doesn't work here you go you can there the, the drivers for your model comes up anyways I um, mean you, you can just choose them manually instead of 
the option that's automatically going to do it for you. But see, like I said, while I was here, this is one thing I missed out on. Windows 7. 64-bit. And as you can see, there's only 64-bit. See, that's one thing I also didn't pay attention. I mean, that was kind of my fault. But then again, it's a learning experience. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to help y'all. People that are probably frustrated and having the same problem, too. Um, here, let me back up a little. And um, like I said, I'll show you the exact driver that you need. It's going to be the y WLAN. It's short for Wi Fi. Keep going. As you can see, I'll, uh, a few of these pops up, and what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for this is the Wi-Fi driver right here, the Intel Centrino Wireless and 1030 Advance, and you can see it's gonna show these, and this is this is what you should be looking for, um, and to simply download it, just hit the download button right next to it as you can see I mean depending on your speed I have a pretty good connection so it's not gonna take me that long um, and like I said just o open it and then install it just like I said it's a pretty easy solution but I'm just gonna show you since I already have it installed I'm just gonna show you how to uh, get there Once it's done, just hit open. And remember this, just in case it doesn't come up, uh, to also find this driver, is it's, it's going to make a new folder, 37 PPD. So I mean, like after after installing, it should automatically come up with the folder. As you can see, it says successfully unzip. See, it should automatically come up, and just proceed when with, with installing it. Uh, since I already have it, just use um. I guess um, use your own settings. It should come up with Express or Custom settings. I use Express. If if that doesn't come up, just hit Next, and it should it should uh, install. But like I said, I already have it installed. So I'm just trying to show you guys. Um, yeah, that. And just like I said, install. I already have it installed. So yeah. Um, in case it didn't come up, to find it, just go to Control or computer local disk Dell and drivers and you gotta remember the folder that it created remember I said 37 PPD and here you go just look for the application because of the where's this application that's pretty much how you install it and there you go but yeah, if you have any other questions or comment, um, like feel free to message or comment below. Just leave it, um, leave it below. I'll try, I'll get back to you eventually. If, um, but yeah, like like I said, um, it, it it's a bit easy. It's just I guess I was looking too hard or trying too hard. I should have just looked at the obvious. Um, If if you have any problems with with these, and you can't download them yourself, uh, the the S S S M bus would, I believe, would be where is it at?
the w one of them should be like uh dep like i said your, your your model would probably accept this my model does for the chipset it would take care of the the universal serial bus and um uh, the other one should be It would probably be a, a BIOS. I mean, it, it would have to flash, flash the system. You would have to download one of the download. Either one should work for your system. Download it and let it flash yours to your uh, computer, and uh, boom, um, those should be taken care of. Uh, like I said, if, if like I mentioned, um, it's it's pretty easy. If you can't get the hang of it, just leave a comment below. I'll get to you. Um, if you guys found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.